Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Geraldi. I make videos all about productivity and goal setting, so if that's your type of jam, don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. Also, click the notification bell so you do know when I do upload, and follow me on all my social media. I'm at Geraldi Silva. Procrastination is simply just avoiding responsibility, and there's an emotion behind um, avoiding responsibility, whether it's the fact that you're anxious about it, um, the lack of knowledge, or the fear of failure, or whatever the case, it's a sim it's simply just dreading. Um, it's just dreading the task that's at hand, and so I wanted to give you guys a breakdown of the ultimate guide of stopping procrastination. I was a huge procrastinator. More than anything, procrastinating is easy to do when you figure out how to solve your own problems when you've basically met your deadline, right? Especially for school. Oh my gosh, I would always wait until the very last second to do a paper and then I would end up getting an okay, okay grade and I would think, oh, it wasn't that bad. I could just keep doing this because I'm always going to get an okay grade. But I would never get to my ultimate goal of I'm a straight A student or I have a 4.0 GPA, which is something a lot of us, um, I think majority of us want in life is to have a GPA that high or be able to get straight A's for at least one semester. But in order to do that, you have to put in the work. You have to put in quality work. And when you're procrastinating and waiting till the very last day for a deadline, you're not putting in your best work. You're just trying to get it done. And so this is your ultimate guide to stop procrastinating with your life because why would you want to live an okay life? Why not live the life that you want? An okay life is just settling. I want to live the best life possible so that when I'm 80 years old, I can look back on my life and be like, wow, I did so much and I'm so proud of myself for never giving up. So I've turned my life around and these are the ways that I've turned my life around and I want to teach you guys the ultimate guide of how to stop procrastinating. So if you guys are enjoying this video, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Also click the notification bell so you do know when I take a look. And follow me on all my social media. I'm at Charlie Silva. The ultimate battle is future you, future you versus uh, present you. Present you is very selfish and only thinks about their feelings within themselves and how you're feeling right now and what you want right now at the moment. You don't care about what future you is, is gonna do with. You just care about you yourself right now. Future you is a very ambitious person, is a very goal-minded goal person. It's a very, uh, it's a person who loves to set goals and has, has, looks like it has their shit together essentially, right? Because when we think of our future version of ourselves, we think somebody who's got it together, someone who has their goals, someone who's living the best life possible. And then present us is like the person who we are today, the person that we, the habits that we live day to day, the actions that we do day to day. This is our present. What we want to do when we're procrastinating is we want to be able to close that gap. Because we have the saying where we always say, that seems like a problem for future me, for future you. That sounds like a problem for future you. That sounds like a f problem for future me. We want to close that gap where the consequences are almost as immediate as the reward that we're searching for because if you have a goal of wanting to lose weight and we procrastinate from going to the gym because we're so self-centered into how we're feeling right now that we're not thinking about our future self and what our future self is going to thank us for we're looking at ourselves in the current moment where we're like i don't feel like going to the gym and so you don't go to the gym and so the consequence of you not going to the gym today is not going to be immediate. It's not going to be you're going to gain 20 pounds. It's not that you're going to have diabetes or have health health scares because you're not um, you're not moving your body. Like the consequences are not going to be very immediate. But the reward that you're looking for is being able to be lazy. It's being able to just relax. So what we want to do is we want to close that gap of consequence. We want to close the gap of reward because the reward is being able to be lazy and just scroll on your phone and just do whatever entertainment thing that makes you feel good whatever pleasurable thing that makes you feel good so the consequence is not going to be immediate it's going to be farther and farther away so we want to close that gap by um allowing more reward with taking action uh, taking the right action so giving yourself an, an immediate reward from going to the gym giving yourself an immediate reward from eating clean giving yourself an immediate reward from x y or z from taking action and doing 
the right thing the thing that your future self is going to thank you for you give yourself an immediate reward instead of delaying the consequence because that's essentially what it is you're just delaying the consequence you're delaying your goals and you keep pushing and pushing and pushing because you're dreading that task you're dreading going to the gym you're dreading writing that paper so by figuring out what your future self wants what your present self wants and closing the gap like what is the right thing to do right is it taking the day off from going to the gym because you're actually really really tired from a really hard day at work or are you just being lazy and will this hinder you in the future if you continue this action or will it make it will it make your life better i always do something that makes my life better in the future for example today i did not have time at all to film however i need to upload 30 videos for the month of may and that is the 30 day challenge that i'm doing for those of you who are new i'm doing a 30 day challenge where i'm uploading for every single day for the month of may and at the end of the month i will let you guys know what my um overall analytics is and how far i got with monetization so if you guys are interested don't forget to subscribe so i i didn't want to film today i didn't really have the time but i'm like i need to get this done i need to fit this into my schedule because my future self will thank me for it because i always thought because i kept telling myself oh, i could just go home and film i just i can just go home and film and i'm like i'm really tired i don't have the energy i'm like when you get home all you're going to want to do is just lay down and not do anything for a good hour you're not going to get anything done so i was like just take the time and film so that you can go pick up your kids go home and then you can relax that will be my immediate reward from being able to film right now so closing that gap of my future self is going to thank me for this because i did the hard work i did the action so remind yourself that your present self is it's gonna your present selfishness is going to cost you your future self this the future self that has it all that has your shit together has the dream life they have it you don't so you want to bridge those things together so that you can present your future self to your present self and be like wow i have my shit together it's not my future self it's me right now i have my shit together i have the dream that i want close that gap another thing is closing the product uh productivity the procrastination and action line so the thing about procrastination is that it's a lot harder to procrastinate when you have a deadline for a paper let's say it's in two weeks when you're procrastinating those two weeks all you're doing is dreading and feeling anxious at the fact that you need to write a paper because actually writing the paper is not as painful as it is when you're constantly thinking and simmering and having anxiousness of i need to write this paper i need to write this paper i need to write this paper because when you actually write it when you actually you know get to that deadline and you have to freaking write your paper it's not as painful as you think it is but if you take the time throughout the week to write just a little bit every single day you're gonna have a quality piece of work at the end of the two weeks but because we keep procrastinating procrastinating all you're doing is just a you're wasting your time because all you're thinking about the pa is the paper when you're delaying the paper and then b all you're doing is causing unnecessary stress in your body so closing the action line the action is just getting started that's the hardest part because once you're in the momentum you want to keep going you want to keep writing the paper you won't stop getting started though is so freaking hard getting your ass up and having to go to the gym getting your ass up and having to write that paper it's so freaking hard but once you're in the zone once you're in it the momentum will just keep going and you're just you're not going to want to stop you're going to keep going until you finish so closing that's another thing that you need to do you need to close the gap between procrastination and action so because of the same we need to close the the action and the procrastination line because it ends up being the same thing where we delay the consequence because nothing's gonna happen if you delay the paper essentially right if you wait until the last day to do it nothing really truly consequential or is that even a word <laughs> there's not really a much of a big consequence that's gonna happen from you delaying it and pushing it back and pushing it back because eventually at the end of the day you're gonna do it what you're not gonna get is your goal your straight a semester goal you're not gonna get that with a piece of work that you did drunkenly on one night and then turned it in last minute you're not gonna get a straight a like that and then 
don't even think about testing too because studying for a test you're not going to get straight A's from procrastinating studying so by allowing yourself to just get started and bridging that take and uh and allowing that to take over the procrastination of just like i'm just gonna get it over with because that's the one thing that i tell myself when i don't want to do something it's like i turned my mindset from i just i don't feel like it to i'm just gonna get it over with because it kind of has like that same tone of i don't feel like it i'm just gonna get it over with like it has the same tone the only difference is the actions being taken place with i'm just gonna get it over with because that's how i feel i feel tired but i'm like i'm just gonna get it over with i'm gonna get it over with i don't feel like doing it but i'm just gonna get it over with and that's the mindset switch that's allowing me to become more and more successful each and every single day with this goal that i have of becoming monetized if i did not have the motivation or the self-discipline to sit down and film every single time after work even though i'm so freaking tired i would not be able to succeed in this challenge and this is the 22 22th video 22nd video that i've uploaded this month by bridging that gap of i'm gonna delay it i'm gonna delay it too i'm just gonna get it over with so have that mindset switch just try it once instead of telling yourself i don't feel like it just tell yourself i'm just gonna get it over with and then watch what happens watch what freaking happens but i want to give you guys two actionable steps that you can take to beat procrastination um so the first one is called temptation bundling so this is a great technique um to be used i forgot who created this but essentially what you do is you do something that you really really love while do something by while doing something that you want to procrastinate on for example let's say you don't feel like going to the gym but what the the format that i just explained is that you are listening to your favorite audiobook or you're listening to your favorite podcast while you are exercising so you're doing something while you love while doing something that you're procrastinating on you're getting to you're getting to um watch a podcast that you really enjoy while you're exercising so it's like it's not that bad and you're rewarding yourself too while you're while you're doing the thing that you're that you don't feel like doing right so the again you're closing that gap which is what i've explained you're closing that gap between um future self and present self you're closing that gap between procrastination and action you're closing that this allows you to close it let's say you're um you need to catch up on some work emails you can go get a pedicure and catch up on work emails something that you love with something that you have to do bridge that gap together just think of something that you really enjoy doing and how can you implement what you need get need to get done and do it during that time that you love for me i i do that example of watching a podcast i love the cancel podcast by tana mojo and brooke Sh i think it's brooke shield i love them so much they're like the funniest people ever to me and i love watching them so i watch that while i go to the gym it's it's a reward it's an immediate reward from doing something that i don't feel like doing so i'm bridging that gap of action and procrastination i'm bridging that gap between my present self and my future self because i'm my present self wants to be lazy and just want to lay down and watch the podcast but my but i'm doing something for my future self which is being able to exercise and have the body that i want so i can bridge those things together and i can be present future me and then the second thing that you can do in order to beat procrastination the second actionable thing is to place a bet on yourself so the first one is all about giving yourself um, immediate rewards is learning how to give yourself an immediate reward while you're procrastinating while you're trying not to procrastinate the second one is giving yourself a consequence so that you don't um, procrastinate so placing a bet on yourself placing a bet on if I don't go to the gym three times this week then I will have to give money to my dad I don't know so essentially um, what you want to do is you want to create a consequence um, that's gonna happen if you don't do the thing that you're supposed to be doing so essentially it's that you are going to create a consequence if you don't do the behavior right now that my friend is how you turn that that is how you beat procrastination is by understanding the psychology between your 
present self and your future self and closing those all of these gaps between them because it's so far-fetched the consequence versus the immediate reward that you want to want to give yourself like it's so far apart so hopefully this gave you kind of an insight and then the two actionable steps that you can take today to start um start living the life that you want to live so if you guys enjoyed it don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already also click the notification bell so you do know when i do upload and follow me on all my social media i'm at Silva. thank you guys so much for watching and i'll catch you guys later bye